Hey, what's up you guys? It's Emma. I'm back with another video and today I am doing a tutorial on this look that I have on right now. I did an Instagram poll if you guys wanted to see a tutorial on something colored or something neutral and it was 68.32 for a neutral look. So this look is already on my Instagram page but it was one of my favorite looks and one of your favorite looks that I've done so I figured I would do a tutorial on it. So this is a one palette tutorial uh, to make it easier. I always like when there's a tutorial that literally only uses one palette because then you don't have to go buy like all the shadows that um, this person uses uh, to create the look. So I figured why not just use one palette to make it easier on everyone. But how about we talk about the palette I'm going to be using. Uh, so I'm going to be using my favorite palette of all time, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Yeah, yeah, she's so pretty. This is my favorite palette of all time, so I'm so glad I can create this look for you guys uh, using my fave. If you want to stick around and see how I complete this look, then keep watching. Also, thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. That is so crazy that 200 people want to watch me stuff on my face. It's so exciting to see more people subscribing to me and wanting to watch me and it makes me feel happy inside. So thank you so much everybody who subscribed and yeah. Okay so I've already uh, primed my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape and I've also already put my uh, Sephora tape on there. I've angled it so it's going directly out to the tail end of my eyebrow because that is where I want the line to be on my eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the shade Warm Taupe out of this palette right here to start and I'm going to be putting that in my crease using windshield wiper like motions and just pretty much blending. That was using the Still Essentials uh, blending brush just from Walmart. Um, next I'm going to be going in with my Makeup Geek Outer V brush in the shade Cypress Umber here, this dark brown shade. And I'm just going to be packing that on my Outer V and then blending it out after. So then I'm going to go in with my uh, Sigma E25 br blending brush and I'm just going to buff that out. I'm going to take a smaller, more dome shaped brush, um, this is just from Eco Tools, I believe from Walmart and I'm going in with that Cypress Umber shade and I'm just going to drag it down into my inner corner just to make it a little bit darker because we're going to cut it. So now I'm going back in with that Sigma E25, uh, the blending brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. So now we're going to cut the crease. I'm going to be using a Still Essentials uh, eyeshadow brush, 005 it says. It's just this uh, dome shaped brush here. And I'm going to be dipping that into a little bit of shape tape that I'm going to put on the back of my hand. So just on the back of my hand there, and I'm just going to be dipping my brush like that. And I am going to put this like that. And then that little spot right there is where you want to connect your line. And I can't talk when I do this, so we're going to be silent for a minute. Alright, so my crease is cut and I am going to be setting that with a little bit of the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. So you can totally skip this step if you are feel like your skill level is not high enough to do a cut crease. Trust me, it takes practice. I'm still not perfect at them and they're one of my favorite things to do. But you can totally skip it and just go straight into this shade that we're about to go into or you can cut the crease and go with this shade over top. So I'm going to be going into the shade Tempura right here just with a flat um, 
shader eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to be going over the part that I cut. Alright, so now that that is done uh, and there is some crazy lines right here, I'm going to go back... Oh, Jesus Christ, there's not a video that I don't drop something. So I'm going to go back into that Cypress Umber, the dark brown shade, and I'm just going to start blending out this uh, concealer right here. Then I'm going to take the blending brush, lots of switching brushes here, um, but I'm just going to blend those two together uh, where they're meeting right now. And pretty much just do any other blending that uh, you would like to do, or darken anything that you would like to darken. And then that is literally it for eyeshadow. You peel this off. Boom. Clean line, except there's lots of foul right there, so let me just clean that up. So I'm finished my eyes and I am going to start on my face. I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Porcelain. This is one of my all-time favorite foundations. I always find myself going back to it and I just love it. So I am going to be blending that out with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Yeah, No matter how many foundations I buy, I always find myself Coming back to this one, not sure what it is about it, it's never cakey on me and it never cracks, it doesn't irritate my dry skin, it's just perfect. So now I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, concealer. I'm not looking to rewind my age any, but um, it's just really good concealer, so oopsie. And I'm just putting it in like a triangular shape. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can. Triangular shape underneath my eye. A little bit on my chin because my chin is bad for breakouts. And then just a little spot on my forehead. And then just taking my beauty blender again and blending that right up. I'm going to be setting everywhere that I put... Um, Concealer with the Too Faced uh, Sweet Peach Setting Powder. This stuff smells so good. And like, not gonna lie, it tastes good too. You know when you just like sometimes get some in your mouth? It tastes good. I took way too much powder. <laughs> Oops, I spilled everywhere. <laughs> So now that I have my powder everywhere, um, I'm going to be contouring. I'm going to be using the Maybelline uh, Master Contour Stick. It is a cream contour with like a highlight shade on one side and a contour shade on the other side. So I'm going to be taking it like this sideways with the dark shade down and I'm going to be just uh, drawing where you would normally uh, powder contour or, you know, contour. That did not work. And just drawing a line like so and doing the same thing on the other side and some on my forehead okay so now I'm gonna be taking the uh, other end of my beauty blender just this like contoured end uh, right here and I'm gonna be blending that out Okay, so now that I'm contoured, I'm going to be bronzing with the Too Faced uh, Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzing powder, and I am just using this fluffy brush from EcoTools and just going over top. And I'm also going a little bit down my neck. Ugh, apparently. And a little bit on my forehead, just on the corners of your forehead, I guess. I don't know, are these corners? Okay, so now I am going on to blush, and I'm going to be using the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Rose Doro. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. Is that French? Is it Spanish? I couldn't tell yet. So we're just going to be going in with this angled blush brush and putting that on the apples of our cheeks and back. 
And when you think you are blushed enough, you can move on to highlighter, which I am going to be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. And I'm just going to be taking a brush that I've seen to have lost. Never mind, I found it. Just this dome shaped brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going on the uh, my cheekbones and just back and forth until you think you're glowing enough. And I'm also putting some on my nose, like so, and the tip, uh, la, 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 and my cupid bow. Alright, so let's finish off the eyeshadow. Uh, I just have to do the under. I'm going to be going in with that small dome-shaped brush uh, from EcoTools into that dark brown, the Cypress Umber. And I'm just going to be starting uh, at the very corner of my lower lash line and lightly... Packing, not packing, uh, blending that out and going to about the center of my eye and then after you have finished that uh, just take a blending brush and go into that warm taupe the shade we use for our crease and transition and just blend out that dark brown so it doesn't look so harsh okay so now uh, I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight using a Sephora smudging brush it's just this little bitty guy that's the highlight that I used and I'm just gonna be putting it underneath my brow and on the inner corner okay so next I am gonna be doing my brows because I look a little scary without them done right now I'm just gonna be using the uh, e.l.f. Lock On Liner in the shade Medium Brown. I've literally lost every single brush that I go to use today. Not impressed. Alright, and then I find it three seconds later. And just dip into this here. And I start on the um, bottom of my eyebrows and I start at about the arch. And I do the tail end first and then I go on to the top. And then I do the uh, front part of my brow last Go into the top And starting at about the same place and Then basically I just fill in the end part of my brow And then slowly making my way to the front part of my brow with lighter, a lighter hand, starting at the base and just brushing up the product so that it's not too intense, uh, but you're still getting most of the product on the base of the brow. And then just brush through that to spread the product. Alright, so last I am going to be doing my eyelashes and I'm just going to be using mascara today. The Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational and just a Sephora lash curler. Always curl your lashes before you put on mascara because if you put on mascara and then curl your lashes, it can wreck them. So don't do it. Alright, and I'm sure most of you probably know how to put on mascara. Oh my god, my hair keeps getting caught. I swear to god, if, if it drags on my face. Okay, <laughs> I got it. So I am gonna finish off my mascara because that's probably really boring to watch, and I will be right back. Right, so I did my mascara, and I normally spray my face before I do my mascara, but long story short, I forgot. So I'm gonna be using the Hard Candy uh, Brighten uh, Sheer Envy Setting Powder. What? Setting spray. And I'm just gonna be, uh, you know. Okay, so this is the completed look. I already had it up on my Instagram. Um, as I said, go follow it, Makeup by Emma Ray. And I hope you really enjoyed the look and the video. I've been doing lots of colors and stuff on my Instagram. And a lot of you guys wanted a neutral look. So here she is. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe, that would be so cool. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!